Dr. William Key was born a slave in Murfreesboro, Tennessee in 1833. He was sent to his master's farm in Shelbyville, Tennessee, where he died on October 18, 1909. He was first married to Lucy Davidson Key, born February 1832 and died August 17, 1885. His second wife was her sister, Hattie Davidson, but she died in 1886. Dr. Key was a horse whisperer. Dr. Key was the owner and the trainer of the famous horse known by everyone, beautiful Jim Key, the smartest horse ever born. He never whipped Jim Key and he was always trained with kindness. Dr. Key was really trying to breed a racehorse, but ended up breeding the smartest horse at the end of this experiment. Dr. Key began to get the desire for love of animals at a young age. He started showing special ways at six years old. Not only was he showing special ways with animals, but he also climbed his father, John Key, father by just being around him. Dr. Key fought for John Key's family to keep them protected after the Civil War. He said he was one of the fortunate men to have a kind master. After the Civil War, Dr. Key opened a hospital for horses on the lot and purchased Merkman Street. And he gained his reputation as a veterinarian, even though he wasn't trained as one. He became one of the most prominent and prosperous individuals in Shelbyville, then became a wealthy man. In 1897, Albert Rogers promoted Dr. Key and Jim Key, and over nine years, they were setting records, attendance records. Jim Key's most famous trick was stealing apples out of drawers, but he could also read, write, spell, do math, tell time, and a lot more. Shortly after they finished their trip, Dr. Key died in 1909, and three years later, he 